I shouted all day. I will be helping. So, do you want to do the slides and I stand here? There no, or here? Still here. You can hear you. We will be quiet. Yeah, we want to see the screen. I know you, so I know you don't really behave. So, but I will try to do my best. So there's a lot of things that you've seen on the internet and on oh, sorry. <laughs> That's my, that's my, sorry, that's my professional laptop. So, so, so this is upcoming this year or next year? Oh, this video is going for a while now. Yeah. <laughs> so, Does the War Factory provide it? I'm not organizing this year, even one more year. Upcoming there's the last couple. So, the front, the, Paolo put the, the biggest thing at the front. So, right now, we are finishing the next book, which is Paradise Lost, which is a bit different than the other books. You have 18 new scenarios in the books on six battlegrounds all over the world. You will play in the jungle, you will play in the Pacific, you will play in Svelgrad, you will play in Antarctica, you will play in Rome. Every battleground has new rules that you can use or not. A lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of background, many short stories. So this is what we're doing. This is the big thing for next year. So next year, the infantry squads, you will have seven miniatures in one box. Whoa! Nice. So, always a leader, always three basic troopers, and always three specialists. So, this is actually not random, but it's just to give you an idea. And basically, what you will have. Japanese or These are. These are Vietnamese, no? I think it's a, the middle of it's a mix of things that we're doing at the moment. Yeah. So, so because uh, the troops are... No, no, these are... Um, uh, Pier, uh, North Vietnamese Army troops. Uh, with capture shit. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So what you will do, you will be able to do is that you will have one unit card for the leader and on this leader you can plug everything you want and build your own squad so for example the specialists they will work like uh, the commissars so for example you'll have the bazooka will be two points you will have to have the leader for three points and maybe the basic trooper is one point. And so if you buy four boxes, you can have one squad with four bazookas and one leader, four flamethrowers and one leader, or mix and match as you want. So you will be able to build your squads as you see fit. Sorry, is this, is this just going to affect the new groups or will the old groups become? No, <laughs> only the new ones. All right. And this will allow us, when we re the Rangers or the Sturm Grenadier in hard plastic, we will do them like that. Okay, so there is a chance. Yes, of course. Oh, there's a sense of chance for so these guys. The <laughs> How the activation will follow? The endless. I, I'm not sure yet. Okay. Uh, Good question. It's, 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 it's an option. We will come up with a few options already. But if the app doesn't work to do that, I don't really care. That All right. Because you will have all the unit cards the box. So it's still very playable. I just I see the app as if, if, if you have all the cards you can just 
Yeah. Yeah. I see the app as an extra tool and not something that can replace the card cards forever. But we will see. We will see. Maybe it's it's. Uh, would that be more like, for example, uh, let's say there are four kinds of a unit, like with, for example, Stumgren and Yeren. So they're kind of similar, but here you have two bazookas, here you have uh, some different two flamers or something like that. There's two reset units, or you actually take a leader for three points, one bazooka for two points. One flamer for one, but they absolutely have like full control over the composition of a squad. There's two ways to do that. Either we do six or seven cards in the box, okay, with fixed uh, combos, okay, yeah, or we do six, seven cards with whatever you want. And but we will try both. But I feel that in some case there might be an option that. For example, if the let's say flavors will be hot stuff uh, at the moment, people could try to let's say put five flavors in one unit. No, you will never be able to do that yeah, anyway. Like okay. Okay. You will never be able to do that. But, 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 but the unit will remain the same, so five troops. Yes. 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 So we need to take an app leader, three troops, and one specialist. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Honestly, I don't know yet. I'm not sure yet. Because we're exploring many options. Could you put four flamers in one unit? Yeah, I'd like for the system to be able to do that. But maybe, maybe because for example, one leader is between two and three army points. Because the leader has his value, but he also has the value of one activation. And then after that, maybe the first uh, flamer is one point, the second is two points, the third is three points, and the fourth is five points. So I'm trying different things, but this is how the product will be. How it's gonna work yet, I'm not sure. But basically you have these seven troops, and if you buy multiples, you can mix and match and do whatever you want. So that's the big news that, but it's still very early. So this is for late next year. So for the allies, so this is uh, resin at the moment, maybe you've seen them. I think this will come in plastic anyway. So the squad can be played independently and when you add them with Rosie, they do something else. No, these are the allies. Because the allies Sorry? So the mechanics. This is, yeah, yeah, this is the only mechanic. So this is the Babylon version of the Heavy Rangers. So that would be the, the that would be the, the way we, we present them. Can you go back for this for a second for me? So as you can see, uh, we are making the box, less boxes available, but with more value inside. So instead of bu buying separately a hero and a squad for a higher price, you buy everything in one box. This is happening also with Luftwaffe and uh, Rocket and Trooper. So with the Genkel wave that's gonna hit us in a month and a few days plus, we're gonna have headquarters for Rocket and Trooper and Falchimega. So far you could buy these separately hero, separately command squads. Now it's gonna be everything in one. And this is, as I mentioned, part of the Genkel wave, which I'm gonna be mentioning. If we keep that. No, because he's not a heavy ranger. No, Sergeant Victory he will be in another, he's in another HQ. Okay. He's in the Allied Rangers HQ. Okay. The Allied Rangers HQ is the command squad, Sergeant Victory, Rosie, Joe, Chef, and the priest. Because basically what, that's something we wanted to do for a while, this is the box that you only buy once. You don't need the multiple of this one. So you will have all the heroes for the faction. Is this Ozzy? So this is uh, releasing soon. I don't know. This is this year. This year, but Yeah, yeah. So the plane with the phasers. I think you've seen it already. And again, with all the old weapon versions, all the, the old variants, the USMC will have its own command truck that is missing at the moment. And then, so these, uh, these are very big vehicles. 
So we're exploring how to do them uh, cheaply. We'll see. We would like to make them in hard plastic, of course, but these are crazy expensive, a ton of molds. So maybe we will start doing some stuff in very, very high quality 3D printing. We'll see. Uh, you Good. mentioned that they will be big, like for example, four squares, two squares, or this some one. Size this one is two squares and a half okay. long. It's okay. really, really big because in the back, okay. in the back you can put. Well, this one is the closed version, but in the back you can put a um, uh, desert scorpion truck. Okay, yeah, it yeah, fits yeah. inside. Wow. So it's really big. Yeah, really big. It's yeah. really, really big. So that's why if you want to do that in hard plastic, it's like, it's like, it's the same amount of molds to do two or three new walkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So, <laughs> it's a lot. But now we have, we have very high quality 3D printing that is really yeah. nice. And you don't have the shitty lines anymore. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we'll try that. But yeah, this one is it's really, really big. <laughs> so it can fit one walker inside? Or the Jeep? Yeah. Even two small ones, I think they can fit in this one. Or just infantry? Well, this one, I would keep them for infantry because they were, that's what they were made for. But Paolo designed them so we can you can put the Desert Scorpion truck, oh. for sure. <laughs> so we will have this option as well. Oh no, these at the moment I will see. These maybe I think I will keep keep for the USMC, but we'll see. I'm not sure because these were used in the Pacific. <laughs> so you can have armored version on the same chassis. This one is just the same with the. Uh, and you carry the troops inside. These were pretty much historical. So this is the next big thing. We're going to open the chassis of the of the four-leg walker. So with the artillery, that will be the first one. That's the one I really, really want. Because the, the long term is very cumbersome. And so I really like this one. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, it's the priest. So you can put uh, Gregory in easy in this one. So again, so this, so this definitely we'll do in hard plastic because this we can also try to sell them to um, to modelers. So what we want to do with this one, this will be released. When we go back and uh, finish the story we started years ago about the uh, Axis inversion of England. So these will be fighting in Ireland and in the north of England. So we will have a version with the historical weapon. Okay. So we have a version with the historical weapon, a version with the dustified gun, a version with the big phaser, the phaser of the Devastator, basically, and a version with the flamer of the fireball. Because this, since we make them, we will make them in hard plastic. We need to be sure to sell a shitload of them. <laughs> because the, this one also is gigantic. It's really fucking big. Tank. It's slightly bigger. It's slightly bigger, but no, I will make them on two because even if it's a slightly bigger, but not, because otherwise it become unplayable. So same thing. Paolo wants to do that. I'm not sure it's a good idea, but no, it's really really cool. But this one is also on four squares. But if we do this one, I, I hope we do with this same very good 3D printing because same thing. This is a ton of mold. But it's the T28, it's pretty mythical, and these would come with all the weapon variants that I mentioned. So, this is the, you've seen it already. Again, it's a ton of mold, 
because basically, apart from the jet engine, everything is new mold. So this is really for later because it's a huge investment. The axis. So this is the next. Uh, I think it's been sculpted already. So this is the next blue voice creation. So hopefully we will see that uh, not this Christmas, but for Gen Con next year, middle of the year next year, or Christmas next year. So this is really tall. It's um, it's as tall as a as a walker. It's really big. It's really, 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 really good looking. Because... Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. It's the same sculpture as the guy who did the two. Yeah, it's really, really good. I don't know yet. I think... It's either Soldier 4 with damage resilience and a ton of health. Or it's the walker. I, I'm not sure yet. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it's really, really nice and it's fucking gigantic. It's maybe too big, we'll see. But it's really, really, really cool. So this, has it been released yet or not? It's in the army box. Oh, it's in the army box now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. With the console? Yes. Oh, it's yes. everything. Yeah, with everything. It's the same top. <laughs> so this is a historical weapon that was developed at the end of the war. <laughs> It's very, very cool. You're going to see it a lot because we love it, so we put it everywhere. <laughs> so, okay, these these are going to be released very soon. Uh, like... Um, end of this year, probably. Yeah, yeah end of this year. Also oh, last week as well? Sorry? Yeah, yes. Yes, this has been molded, so you will see them. We had the prototype, but this is rock plastic. So the E10 was the successor to the headset. So you have them with the 75 millimeter guns like this. D15 is a slightly uh, wider. It's very similar, but it's not actually the same. It's very, very similar, but it's slightly wider. So this one, you see them because we have many variants of these, but these are, I mean, I love this tank. And this will be hard plastic, it's being molded as well. You have the troop transport, the catcher which was supposed to be the new transport at the end of the war. So you'll have a command vehicle of this as, as well, command vehicle version of this as well. How many infantry will it fit inside? How about six, six, capability of six? No, I think it's more, I don't remember. I, no, I think it's eight, but I'm not sure. Yeah, because it's quite big, it's bigger than it looks. Yeah, yeah, it's bigger. It's bigger, it's bigger than a 250. It's definitely bigger than okay, if, 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 if it does eight, so first of all, you put like a one swap plus two uh, or Yeah, or observers or snipers. So these... Can observers So these same thing, I don't think we'll see them in hard plastic for a very long time. Because again, that's another huge investment. But we'll explore options. We really love this series of tanks. And these also have an interest to modelers, though we're going to try to make it happen. But. The idea is that we, we also attack the modeling uh, market with this. So when we not only focus on gaming aspect, but also of the modeling, so it's going to be really a lot of high quality smaller elements that can uh, satisfy the modeling client that uses Tamiya, Revel, all our products. So this is our idea to attack this type of market. So we can easily assume that they will all come in kits. Yes, of course. Oh, yes, of course. All, of, all of our new products come in kits. Perfect. If something is not in kit, that's because it's uh, yeah. from the older production and we yeah, yeah, really didn't make kits. But everything that's new is coming in kits. So that's the, that's the E15 that you saw earlier, but with the, the, the flamethrower, that's this one. That's the same version, but with the flamethrower. That also was supposed to be the um, because there was a headser with the with the flamer in the front like this. So this uh, this is released at the end of this year as well. I think. Yeah, because everything, all you see, this is is one mold. Is already molded. 
Wow, so this is... Oh! Uh -huh. What? <laughs> so this is the, the prototype Tiger that really existed. It's a Tiger one with a flamethrower in the chassis oh. that they... Oh. But we added an X7 on top of it and the machine gun. It's really, really, really and good. Is it looking. like a new kit or a dustified kit? Or no, no, it's all plastic. Yeah. It's not dustified at all. It's all plastic. Yeah, sure. Oh, sure. Oh, no, I, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 I think it's all plastic. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry? No, these are going to be black, for sure. Because the E-tanks were supposed to replace everything in the Axis Army, so, yeah. Same thing, that's an old dream of us to do that, but... Yeah, that's a gigantic model. So hopefully someday. But we're gonna have to choose between this and this because between the two, there are no parts that we can use. So if everybody has a lot of money and wants to invest in a <laughs> shitty business, please contact us. You can invest in a more factor. It's the same yeah. company and you like it more. <laughs> but it's like, it, to do that in hard plastic is like, a lot of money, <laughs> a lot of tools. But this is the same one, but with a uh, flat feeling. So this same thing, we're gonna try to do them in a very nice 3D print or very nice resin cast, but in hard plastic, it's gonna be really, really hard. Because these, if we could, can afford them, we'll do the lower part all the tracks and everything in hard plastic and we can do the top in nice resin and it's gonna work. You can see. So these are the same. So the crocodile was a, a tank that was developed at the end of the war with the biggest gun uh, the German army had. It was a harder than... <coughs> 50 millimeter gun, I think. And of course, we're gonna do one with the laser. And the same thing, this is the same chassis, so as soon as we have this chassis, we can do that. <laughs> then it becomes way easier to do just the turret and the guns we already have. So this is a pet project of Paolo. This is a very light tank, the reconnaissance tank, but same thing, it's problematic because it has no, it has, the tracks are not the same as this one. So maybe we're gonna cheat and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to do, to be honest. It's a very light tank, this one. It's the lightest in the series. Uh, at the moment, we have one new walker for the Axis with the four heavy laser guns. But they have enough workers as it is. They need some tracks. Okay, this one you've seen now on the tables. Yes. So this will be released this year or not? I'm not sure. I not, think not, not the next wave. If, if it is the next, the end of the year at the best luck. But, I'm not but sure. it's very soon because the hero at the top, top right is the hero. Is going to be released this year for sure. Uh, so this is pretty soon. So these are the Curtis boys. These are this the machine gun that's going to be in the squad. It's very cool. It has a new role, you'll see. Sorry for the guy in the This is a new hero that will come by itself. So it can be like two miniatures in one box? Yeah, like the very old Games Workshop. No, yeah. before Games Workshop. The very old Citadel miniatures yeah. that had one hero on his foot and one on his horse. It's the yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he has, when he's uh, on the ground, he has one card. He's just a regular hero. And then he's been touched by the old gods and he becomes a sorcerer. And you can put him with Migos, which is pretty cool. It's gonna look ridiculous, but I really like it. I love it. So this is um, this is being sculpted at the moment. 
but the skunk is not finished, so this is fucking amazing. You didn't put the skunk? Okay, so you can start singing a bit, because you saw that, but... This is the 3D one, but we started printing it, and so here... No. <coughs> Where's my... Here, in the mouth, you have layers and layers and layers of teeth. So it's going to be complicated to assemble, it's, but it looks fucking awesome. It looks really... So this is the other spawn that is slightly cheaper, but cannot attack flying targets. So you have to choose. Will there, will there be a bigger version of this one? Like with two uh, ones? No. Not at the moment. Maybe later, but not at the moment. So this one is the very... Because these two spawns... I prefer them with the two avatar and the other uh, with the other uh, avatar, sorry, and two go by themselves. And then when we do new ones, we'll do another avatar and two new spawns, something like that. And the next thing, so this we're going to try for 2020 as well. Uh, no, 2021, I think. So, same thing, the, mid, the deep ones in various stages of mutation. This is still very much on the table. So this will be hard plastic. So this is the second, the first uh, level of mutation is very like a human that has a deformed head and everything. Then you have this version, and this is the most gigantic beast. So I think, I don't know if Paulo sculpted this one maybe. I don't remember. So this is, yeah, this is the headquarters that is going to be released for Christmas this year. So with the missing heroes, so you have Rasputin, Ekaterina, this is the priest for the command squad, this is the hero for that go with the boys, and this is the rest of the command squad. The medic, the mechanic, and the radio. So, so the two priests, they help Rasputin activate and heal the Mythos monsters. But of course, the mechanic cannot affect Mythos monsters, but it can affect the tanks and everything. It will cost around 55 euros. <laughs> That's a good price. And you, you, so with the Katarina, you have the new platoon opening up with the cultist and Rasputin as a How much is I don't remember. Oh, you, are, you, you think I know every army point cost in the game? Yes. Are you from Indian We do, why wouldn't you? <laughs> no, you don't. So this is going to be released very soon. This is for Gentle Wave, so this is already on the way to us now. Okay. So this is very cool, we like this shit, but... So this is also playable, it comes with a long set of rules. Oh yeah, I have the parts. This you can put on a vehicle and it also has a set of rules on a vehicle. Basically you can expand one VK container to shoot better with all VK powered weapons. So it increases your laser, your phaser, your Tesla weapons. So you could put them on the floor, it becomes an objective. Or you could then put them on the back of a truck. It used to explode or mix it? No, I think we can remove that. And then, so you have a little truck behind your big Votan and you expand one every time you shoot. This is pretty cool. So you will see a lot of these. And these are, these are in hard plastic <laughs> with the palette and everything. Same thing, so this is not being done, I think, at the moment. Same thing, this will come either 3D printed or in resin, because it's four square, so this will never be in hard plastic. It's gigantic. But we will see that hopefully uh, middle next year. This you will see way before that. So basically this is the size a big square, but this is an objective with the concrete and everything. 
This looks very, very good. This is really... Uh, Early next year. Not this, not this. Yeah, but because this is already being done. It's a very nice piece of scenery. I can you will you will be able to do a lot of stuff with that. The cool thing is that it, it fits uh, all the scenarios we play, so I can easily put it put it on Antarctica, so and put it on, on winter objective. It's, a, it's an entrance to a bunker or something else, and you can have it the same on jungle or on Babylon. So it fits any type of the terrain you like to play. It's the entrance to every secret base on the planet. We have one type of entrance for many secret bases. Sorry? So this is a new scenery uh, that will be released. I think it's very work, being worked on at the moment. These are just uh, Hulu pylons that will be cast in resin, so you have you can give a Tulu feel to your setting. And these you find in the middle of the jungle in Antarctica, many places you can find them. So this being sculpted at the moment. Japan, okay. So this is being released uh, very soon. I think end of the year. At the end of the year we have that. So the first command squad with the cadets and three heroes as usual. So I think these you already saw. Tell, tell about the no, they haven't saw. It's a new. They haven't seen. Oh, you've definitely seen that. Okay. They tell them about the cool uh, two squad on one base, two, two, two girls. So this is like a small um, support weapon that is inside the command squad. So you can either use the heavy weapon or the two machine guns and they have you see it's a new type of unit card that you have the two health on the side of the card so you can mark one health and the rest remove the rest of the casualties as usual but this is the first command squad with six health it's pretty good and you have three heroes that you the first one here as the first uh, foot mortar the foot mortar can fire regular shells or phosphorus shells that continue burn on the table. This is the second ninja squad. Uh, so this one has assault rifles, but it will be built like I explained at the beginning with many heavy weapons. And you will be able to Build your own squad. Uh, will those assault rifles be silenced? No, not this one. You don't have the silence. Oh. So this one will be released in resin first, like this, and a little bit later in hard plastic with all the weapon options. Okay. So this, the super heavy Japanese robot, Palo is still working on it, and uh, but. <coughs> We should release him for Gen Con next year. We wanted to do later this year, but it's still too much work to do on this one. But it will be released next year. I'm still fighting, so it has anti-personal machine guns on it, so it's not final. There's still work to be done. But it's still work being working on. This will be released for sure. So this is the Japanese version of what you saw earlier, the E-15 with the ray gun and the uh, shotgun. So the same thing, this, this is for early next year. Uh, yeah, for next year's tournament, in here we will have this. Yeah, that's the same one with a different view, with the ray gun inside. So the paratroopers, uh, hopefully, that's, that's 2021. This. I don't think it's earlier than that. They have the German stock. We have a lot of stuff to do that, but yeah, that's still far away because the reschedule is pretty busy already. But this will be the regular troops for the Japanese with many heads. As you show. All the Japanese weapons in our plastic. So this will, will appear soon, the foot mortar and everything. 
and the Japanese Panzer file that you have seen on the command squad. So these, yeah, I think we have pictures of it. Yeah, it's better. So this is the railgun team for the cadets and for the ninjas. This is going to be released very soon. It's for the gentleman. Okay, okay, so. So. This one has a slightly longer gun, but it's not silent. <laughs> so sad. Paolo wanted it to be silent, but it's not silent. Uh, uh, still have the casting speed? No. <laughs> but nice try. <laughs> <laughs> but you can put a hero with them. No, but they still they still have camouflage and uh, they are still a bit more survivable, but they, they, they are a bit cheaper. The cannon are a bit cheaper. So the robotic troop we've seen a long time ago. This is a long way off still because there's many more things we can do that before, but still we're gonna work on that for sure. As well as the heavy tank that we saw before. This is all new. So that's that's what I'm fighting for at the moment. To have the Oka, which is the Messerschmitt, in hard plastic because the Japanese, they need an airplane. So we're going to do, do this one for sure. Because it's in, it was developed by the Japanese and the German at the same time, we could release for both blocks. But this will be definitely the, the Japanese airplane. Mercenaries. So, Tito! That's Tito and his girl. I have a question group. about Tito because uh, there was a picture of half naked Tito on one of the famous pictures. Yes. Uh, will we be able to buy half naked Tito as well? You will be able to earn it. Okay. You're a big boy. <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> no, I don't know yet. To be honest, <laughs> to be serious, I don't know yet. Uh, these have cards, so these exist in the game. The variants, I don't know. Okay. They don't have cards, <laughs> they don't have planned cards, so I'm not sure they got... No, maybe we're gonna release them for a century or shit like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh. As soon as you, as long as you have the card, you can order it. Oh, this is very soon. Because we have, I have, I've received the printed card, so I know it's very soon. When, I'm not sure, but I have the card. Oh, yeah. But these, these are in resin. So they are not plastic yet, but they are the flavor in resin. Yeah, you can play both joint or separate. These, however, are in plastic and will be released also pretty soon. I don't remember when. End of the year, because that's what you said. Because these are in plastic. The main difference is that because it's uh, not resin but plastic, we can offer it also to your local shops. Yeah. So you won't be uh, only uh, you know uh, forced to buy at War Factory or that studio, but you will be able to buy them at your retailer. This is the ability we have when it's pl produced in plastic. That, that's why the poses are similar to the ones you know, but that allows us to, to have them spread to more shops, basically. And it's not the same price. It's not because this is plastic. So it's going to be cheap. Yeah, but the, the pose is similar. Yeah, yeah, of course. And these, so this is a Justin and Co, but they have slightly different rules because they have all this ammo, but you see, they have all, all the ammo crates, so they have specific rules that are not like the, the other ones that you already have. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. So this is the HQ with the command squad and with all the heroes for the mercenary. This is already on the way to us. Oh, yeah, yes. so if you're helping at War Factor with the next transport, you're going to be able to hold them for a few minutes. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is done already. It's not what I expected. Yeah, you can hold them. This, uh, this is done already. I don't know when it this is. This is the same way. So this is also on the way to us. So there's going to be a lot of mercenary stuff coming. 
And this is also plastic, so it's going to be available to all retailers. It's not only resin. This is both in one box, like uh, Luftwaffe support weapons. Okay. So it's priced like a medium walker and you get two support weapons inside. Yeah. No, you can't get two of them. No, this one is unique. The mercenary one is unique. And it's, it's, of course, because the mercenary stole one, so they can only have one, and it's uh, cost more army points than the Japanese ones. Oh yeah, it's Japanese unit. Yeah, there's much more. Yes. So this one is really cool. I really like it. So this, I don't know when it is. This, I have no idea. Maybe it's this year because I think we did the card, so I'm not sure. It's a similar process, possible. I don't know. I don't know. So, okay, so this is the next thing we are working on at the moment. So, this is going to be for early next year. So, these are the mercenary uh, variants of the Mikey. So, this one with the anti aircraft guns, the German, uh, the Axis anti aircraft guns. So, this, this is Paulo's dream, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not all dreams come true. Last week, no, next week. Next week. However, this is way cheaper to do. This is also part of the You see, this to do in hard plastic is the same price as to do this. Yeah, this is the same price as to do this, basically. So, so this is way more feasible than the rest. And on this, we can put a lot of heavy weapons and stupid shit. So this is gonna happen. I don't know when, but this is gonna happen for sure. Yeah, but this is gonna this is gonna happen for sure. So this is the next one. Okay. Okay. I like it. So So this is same thing. Uh, this is going to be. Whoa. The next round of mold. So early next year. First uh, releases of 2020 like this. And this as well. This is just because we like cool shit, but. What's the special abilities of that? You tell me. I will tell you. Okay, no problem. But this is go back for a little I have a question. If we're going to have mercenary or military, is there a chance that we will have like Burger Luther or other this kind of military back in stock, like as a prime one? So no, I don't think so. Okay. Because the Burger Luther, I mean, because I know the, the Burger Luther is a very special type of yeah. resin casting that is okay. extremely costly. Okay. And the company that was doing that for us. It's oh, here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not even sure we have the mold yet. <laughs> it was such so a good I'm business. not sure it's gonna come back ever. Paolo wants, wants them to come back, and now the easiest way would be to do them in hard plastic. Yeah, yeah. But the size of the yeah. of the thing in the mold yeah, is fucking gigantic. Yeah. So. And the burger liquor is cute, yeah. but when you try to sell them, yeah, it doesn't sell. Yeah, that's true. So people love it, but then when you release it, they don't buy it. Yeah, I get it. So, you know, these are the rules of miniatures. Yeah. You have miniatures that shoot with boobs, yeah. then you have miniature that shoot, and you have all the rest. Yeah. And all the rest, because these people, People that love this type of stuff, they really love it. Yeah. But when you look at the sales, nobody buys them. So we're gonna do a few because we like that shit. But other than that, people, because between between this, sorry, between this and this, maybe this one is the coolest, but these will sell a lot more, a lot more. I'm sure. It's like scenery. People love scenery. And you need nobody to do the salary and nobody buys it. 
So, it's a problem. So, we have some news for the Italian army. Have you come up with the name for like uh, this uh, rest of the blocks within the uh, uh, factions within the uh, Axis army, like Italy, Finland, and everything? That's I don't have a name yet, okay. but we now we know what we want to do with them. Okay. But I don't have a name yet, that's a good question actually. So this and this chassis and the next one now yeah. Yeah okay, so yeah you can see them now. So these are the, just the prototypes. It's, it's the same thing as these two. So we will see how we can make that happen. But these are not these are small molds, so they can happen in our plastic. But it's not, I mean, it's not the priority, but it's something that we really want. So they were fighting a bit like the Desert Scorpions. So they need that kind of light weapons, assault weapons, shit like that. So this will happen for sure. This is good. So this is Fumanchu for the PLA. So this is for this year. I haven't seen the final files. I think it's I think it's for this year or early next year. But because this is uh, this is either molded or being molded, so I'm not sure. So so these are this is the same. Um, concept that in the beginning yeah. so yeah. yeah so this we, this is the North Vietnamese army and so you will have all these weapon variants so they have uh, Japanese weapons mostly because it's what they capture in China <laughs> and in Indo China but these are the North Vietnamese volunteers and you will be able to build your squad and so this this is being molded right now. So this is the first one that's gonna be released in yeah. the new version basically with the seven miniatures or more in one box. This is I don't know when. When? This is everything. Sure. I don't know when it is. Yeah, more than Rapaino, it's like absolutely. So yeah, this one, yeah, we made. I don't know if I have the card. I think I have the card, so I'm not sure. You haven't shown me. And this is the next version of the PT-47. So these are really pushing for it because these we just need to find a, a small part in a mold. This is complicated to mold, but it doesn't take too much space. So hopefully, uh, early next year we'll make it happen. Uh, the one with the anti-aircraft uh, rocket launcher and the rocket launcher. Same thing, it's not, it doesn't take a huge space in the moment, so it's fairly easy to do. So this is the next uh, SSU hero with the two Tesla gloves. Uh, so this is for this year. I think. Yes, I think it's planned, but I'm not yeah, sure. I think this is really end of Christmas. the year. Yeah. But is this regular SSU or it would be fashion? What's the origin of the carbon box? I'm sorry, I can't tell. Oh shit. <laughs> but it's almost Polish. It's almost Polish. It's Polish. This is from the penguins, from the Madagascar. It's like a Smith. I'm scared. I'm sorry, I'm not picking more. You're not sure if it's from the penguins. Madagascar. You don't know it. It's like a Smith. Oh yeah, you're missing the point. No, it's like he keeps on distracting me. Yeah, I know. That's his job. We pay him for that. The question is, is it, uh, uh, is it SSU or will it be a faction like the... No, 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 it's, it's, it's uh, the guards. Red guards. Yeah. So it's still guards? Yeah, it's a guards. Yes, yes. 
So in an army, you will have one or two grill, and the rest will be this. And so you can't really see it here. Paolo is designing the vehicles right now. But basically, this vehicle can assemble. You can assemble several and make very big vehicles and then spread them apart. You see, that's very, very cool. <laughs> but, so these are piloted only by the Brits themselves. These are their vehicles. And that's it. And I'm done. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.